Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. That is Jack. I am Connor. This is the 45, looking at week two. Five questions, five matches. Take some guesses as to what we think might happen. First up, a battle of the promoted sides, uh, Leeds and Fulham. They split the series last year with Fulham winning at home 2-1 in December, Leeds winning 3-0 at home after the restart in June. Uh, I don't see Fulham getting any points out of it. Yeah, Fulham, I think they're a bit of a ways off from figuring out their footing in the Premier League. I think Leeds had a really good showing against Liverpool at Anfield, pushing them really hard, relying on two penalties, two defensive errors um, to give Liverpool the 4-3 win in the end. I think the only thing that could, in my head, stop Fulham from, or stop Leeds from getting this match is if they aren't as clinical. And what we saw is they scored on all three of their shots on target against Liverpool at Anfield. That's not something you can rely on in every match. So against Fulham, you'll have more of the ball. You'll be able to be a bit more developmental with your with your plays. Next up, we've got a London derby. Second consecutive London derby for Arsenal, this time facing West Ham. Uh, I, again, I, I don't see West Ham getting any points in this one. Yeah, this is also another tough one. I think that West Ham, I have them getting relegated this season. And they haven't made any signings yet in the window. They've got a couple that they're linked to. There's a lot of negativity. A 2-0 loss against Newcastle won't help things. Um, and Arsenal looked very, very good against Fulham. Again, it was it was Fulham. I don't think we can extrapolate that performance to mean that they're going to be dominant this year. But I think that they'll have a lot of joy. Aubameyang's in red-hot form. So I think both of us see this one as probably not one that's going to be a surprise. Um, and Arsenal should start off perfect so far this season. Agreed. I don't see this going West Ham's way. Arsenal will take full three, and this could be a 3-0, 4-0 result. It's not going to be good. Next up, United and Palace. United, can they c extend their opening day success? They've won 20, their 20th win on opening mm -hmm. day, which is a crazy yeah. number out of 30 years. And meanwhile, yeah. Palace coming off of a good performance. I don't think they have enough to be United. I think Palace, they obviously won, I'm not sure if it was last season or the season before, but it was a Patrick Van Arnholt goal um, against United, which got them the win uh, at Old Trafford. I believe it was last year, so they go for back-to-back -back seasons um, with getting that upset victory. And they showed a lot of promise, a lot of defensive solidity. Zaha getting on form is great for them against Southampton in the first week in that 1-0 victory. And I think they'll test United. It's a question of can United come out of the block strong, and I think that they're going to want to have a good performance because there's a lot of anxiety in the fan base due to a lack of transfer movement. So getting a good first win of the season, start for them, would be um, a very positive result. And they didn't do very well against the, the – well, they didn't get the result in the friendly against Villa. Uh, mm -hmm. Donny Van de Beek could get his first run out. Pogba looks like he's he could be playing. Uh, but, again, I, I think – Ollie will find a way to get the full three, and I think this is the first of many bad performances that we're going to see out of a Palace side that we don't have a whole lot of faith in mm -hmm. moving forward. Next up, Wolves home to City. Again, opening night, opening day, opening match, whatever you want to say for City. Um, Wolves are losing a couple of players here. Jota rumored, rumored to go to uh, Liverpool. Um, they've already lost Doherty. They've brought in the 18-year-old Portuguese. See if he gets a run out. Mm-hmm. And they also announced their third kit today, um, really is, kind of affirming themselves as Portugal FC. Um, it's the, the Portugal national uniform. They're, they're really leaning into it, and I, I kind of respect that actually I quite a too. lot. Well, I think um, in, in our Thanksgiving episode last year, I said, what are, Port what, are, what are Wolves thankful for? They're thankful for Portugal. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think even losing Jota, I think he's going to be a good sign for Liverpool, a good sale for Wolves. We'll talk about that in a, at a later time, but... Um, I think in this match, City will be very wary to start off on a good note to erase the fact that they got the double done against them last season by Wolves. Um, and I expect City to come out and have something, a point to prove. Getting eliminated by Lyon is not a good memory to have from last season. And they're going to be anxious to prove themselves. I think that Wolves, not because of a lack of quality, but because of just a difference in quality between them and Manchester City, I think City take the result here. Yeah, Fabio Silva probably going to get a start. Mares back after... Recovering from COVID-19, Aguero out, but this is a 3-1, I think, to see. And last up, we've got Liverpool and Chelsea, at Chelsea. Um, the tale of two Tiagos, if you will. Tiago Silva likely out for Chelsea. Tiago Alcantara potentially late sub, 15, 20-minute run out as his premier yeah. for Liverpool. 
Yeah, I would be surprised to see him do more than that, considering the lack of training that he's been able to do after his signing um, earlier today. But it is going to be exciting to see Liverpool with a Thiago in that midfield, feeding that lethal front three. Um, it's going to be exciting. And I think that in this matchup, I think it's, again, a bit too early for Chelsea. So a lot of pieces of gel, a lot of things to work out. I think Liverpool, if they're able to step up their performance from the sloppiness they had against Leeds, which they have to, I believe, um, if Liverpool can be defensively tight, don't have the errors that you had from Trent and Van Dijk and Gomez, um, and, and you'll be looking at, I think, a, um, I don't want to say a comfortable Liverpool victory, but I think Liverpool will prove why they are defending their title with some, uh, with some emphasis. That'll do it for us for our... Uh look at match week two jack conrad this has been the 45 please like comment tell us what you think look for us on the twitter at the 45 take care now